Oh my God! Hey, it's me, Doctor Fuck, and uh, we are talking about Mister uh, Wilson from Chicago. Wanted me to do this one. He wanted me to put Van Halen, 1984. <laughs> 1984 Van Halen versus this piece of shit right here. Right there. That crap right there. 5150. No, I don't own it. Fuck that shit. I ain't gonna own that crap. You know, somebody did give me it. The vinyl. And I might have it. But it's not worth looking for. Because I don't know where the fuck I will put that. But I can't stand it. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw uh, my news segment where I was bashing Sammy Hagar. And, oh, man, I got such, you know, usually I don't talk about the stupid comments I get from dumbasses. But this guy was very colorful in his, uh, <laughs> his opinion on my disdain for Sammy Hagar. And he ended up saying all his shit. And then he ended up saying... And I'm so unsubscribing to you. Wah. Don't you love it? You know, like on Facebook, I'm leaving this group. Wah. Pay a, hey, look, pay attention to me. Like, oh, after everything you just said about me and you're not unsubscribing, are you, th you think you're getting one on over me? Ah, oh, fucking skedaddle. Who the fuck needs you? But anyway, I'll tell you this right now. I love this album. I love classic Van Halen. It fucking rules. But, I, you know... This would be my least favorite of the six-pack. I love, I love this album, though, because I love Van Halen so much. Yes, even Diver Down I like more than this one. A lot of people are like, Diver Down sucks because there's too much covers. Man, the covers don't sound like the originals. They're not covers to me. Where have all the good times gone? That doesn't sound like fucking the Kinks version or... Dancing in the Street, musically, it's completely different. Eddie wrote a song, and then he just put... The lyrics on it. Pretty Woman, yeah, a little bit. Big Bad Will, I never really heard the version. But, man, Secrets is awesome. The Full Bug, Hang em High. Um, little Guitars, Jesus, what a great album. Love it. Like it more than this one, but I do love this album. Now, as far as the 5150, I wrote down the song titles here because I went on Wikipedia. And I also listened to it on YouTube. I did. I actually, to be fair... You know, I said, fuck it, let me listen to it, and oh my god, this shit sucks. But you will be surprised on one song I do like off that album. You will be surprised. I actually do like a song off that album. I'm not so biased that, I, you know, I can't stand Sammy Hagar, but if the song's good, I can't lie. After all, I like Monster from Kiss, and I can't stand those scabs. So, are there song titles on here? No, they're not. So let me take this out. Is it on here? <clears throat> no, it's not either. <clears throat> All right. Track one, 1984. Uh, one minute of bullshit. It's just fucking a little keyboard thing. It's just, it's garbage, honestly. Uh, my least favorite Van Halen song. Uh, not Van Hagar, it's Van Halen. To me, it's fucking Van Halen. This is Vangina, this shit. And that's going against good enough. The way that song starts, hello, baby. Man, I wish it was Sammy Hagar on that plane instead of the big bopper. I'm kidding. I would never wish death on Sammy Hagar. I was just making a funny. Um, it's stupid to wish death on people just because they suck musically. Like those fucking, like those people, that shirt. Uh, what was that shirt? Uh, Should have been Lars. Ah, <sighs> Man. Uh, but I'm going with 1984 because this song is just fucking so stupid. Woo -woo 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 -woo. It starts doing that in the middle. Oh, it's just terrible, man. I don't think it rocks. I think it's trying to rock, but it's just, I don't know. It's just not my bag, daddy. So one for 84. Where's the list right here? <clears throat> I'm going to be surprised if 5150 gets anything. <clears throat> then we got Jump. <clears throat> yeah, Jump is played out. But honestly, I think what saves the song Jump, in my opinion, is Diamond David Lee Roth. The way he delivers that song and the way he sings it, I think it's the best part about that song. So, uh, against, what is it? Uh, why Can't This Be Love? 
I remember the first time I heard that. New Van Halen with Sammy Hagar on the radio. Stay tuned. And I was like, all right, let me check this out, man. Let's see how this is. And I was just horrified. I was like, what the fuck? What a stupid ass song. I'm giving that one to 1984. Uh, I'm giving it to Jump. All right, then we got Panama. Man, honestly, I'm going to give you the truth. Panama I'm burnt out on. I'm not, I'm not burnt out on Jump as much as Panama. <clears throat> yeah, it rocks. It's cool. You know, reach down between my legs. and It's a cool tune and everything. It's one of their bigger songs, but I'm kind of like mm, a little iffy on that one. It's like, mm. And that one's going against Get, <clears throat> get Up. Hey, guys. Let's do a real fast song and let's rock real heavy to let people know that we're not completely wimping out. Oh my God, what a disjointed mess that song is. It's terrible. It's so bad. And you know what it is? It's like Sammy's stupid vocal melodies totally ruin it, but honestly, even musically, I don't think it's that great. And let, and let me clarify something where people... Always say this shit to me, these Sammy Hagar tarts. Man, you can't blame Sammy Hagar solely. I mean, Eddie took him in the band. Of course. Oh, I blame Eddie as much as Sammy, uh, as, as uh, the, the stupid music of, of Van Hagar. Eddie is as much to blame as Sammy. And by the way, Sammy was not the first choice. It was Patti Smythe. So Sammy Hagar was second choice, you know? They couldn't get Patty Smythe, so they got Sammy Hagar. All right, so uh, another one for, I'm giving it to that burnt out song, Panama. Three to zero. Oh, what a surprise. All right, next, <clears throat> Top Jimmy. I love that song. He's the king versus dreams. Oh, my God, shoot me. <laughs> dreams is a bunch of bullshit. That is, man, if the event... Boy, if any song will show you what a castration Van Halen became with Sammy Hagar. Dreams. Oh, but Sammy hits those high notes. He's a much better singer than Dave, and he can still sing that way. I'm sorry, man, but I never liked the way he sang, so for him still singing that way doesn't help. Not to me. Maybe he would sound better if his voice was shot. I don't know. I just can't stand his voice. And when he hits those eyes on dreams, sorry. Hey, more power to you people that love this shit. I don't look down on fans. If I disrespect the band, it has nothing to do with their fans. Unless you're a stupid pickle whistler like that, like that guy. I'm leaving. I'm unsubscribing because you don't like Sammy Hagar. I'm sorry, man. I think that Sammy Hagar is, uh, you know, ripping off Ronald McDonald. And I don't think that's cool. All right, so of course, man, I'm going to give it a top Jimmy because he's the king. All right, four to zero. Then um, <clears throat> drop dead legs. Rips. Versus summer nights in my radio. As I understand, summer nights was a song that was written even when Dave was in the band and never got to fruition. Um, and there, you know what, man? <clears throat> I can't see Dave bettering that song. I don't like it. I don't like it even musically. I just think it's kind of a, a bummer of a song. You know? I, it, it may be the closest to Van, classic Van Halen, but it's just, to me, it's lacking, you know, testosterone. There's no nuts on summer nights. And uh, drop that legs, baby. All right, so... Surprise, surprise. Side one, Van Halen 1984 is a complete wipeout. Now we're going to go to side two. And wait till you hear what song I like off 5150. It'll surprise you. Uh, then we got Hot for Teacher, my favorite song off the album. See, you know, I may be burnt out on Panama and not too big on, on uh, Jump, but Hot for Teacher I never get sick of. And to me, it's like the greatest musical uh, music video. And to me, it all it's I hear the most uh, the most classic Van Halen in Hoffer Teacher. It's such a fucking awesome song, awesome video. No way that fucker's gonna lose against Van Hagar because it's going against best of the both worlds. Best of 
both worlds. Fuck that song. Another one for 1984. Then, oh wait, another popular radio. They didn't have a video, but it was a popular radio one. I never get sick of. Absolutely, that, that may be my second favorite song off this album. Is oh wait, and that one's going against <clears throat> uh, Love Walks In. Now get ready for this shit. I like that song. Can you believe it? I know a lot of you Van Hagar haters are going, what? Yeah, I can't lie. I can't lie. I actually like Love Walks In. I think it's a good tune. I like it. I don't know why. You know, I don't consider myself a guilty pleasure type guy. I like what I like and I make no excuses. But, you know, I'll be lying to you to say I'm not at least a little bit ashamed of liking it. But I do. And it's the ballad -y song off here. You know, it's, it's definitely something that I wouldn't like. But boy, can I be any more honest to admit not only that I like a Van Hagar song, but I like that one, the mellow one about aliens. In case you don't know, uh, Sammy Hagar claims he was abducted, abducted by aliens. And God, if it's true, I fucking hate those aliens for bringing them back. Um, so I wait still wins. I wait. I think it's a better song, and I'm not doing that because of bias shit. But I if. If Love Comes Walking In went against um, 1984 instrumental, it would have got a point. All right, so another one for Van... For, so that's it. Hey, I, I'm going to continue going, you know, but, you know, honestly, I'm only doing this for, for Wilson in Chicago. Wilson from Chicago, Warner, so I'm going to get through with this, but we already know the outcome, okay? Uh, Girl Gone Bad rules. Great song. That one's going against 5150. Now, I'll say this. <clears throat> when I listen to... Because I haven't listened to this garbage in so fucking long. But as I listened to 5150, I thought, well, you know, the song sucks, but you know what? Uh, you know, I like Eddie's guitar parts in a couple parts. You know, I kind of like the, the beginning riff. And, but, you know, and then some of it's just garbage. And then the solo is okay. It had some okay elements where I didn't find anything else... Okay, before love comes walking in. Uh, but it's not the hair. It's not, I don't know, it's not the pimple in the ass of, uh, of Girl Gone Bad is what I'm trying to say. Another one for 1984. Now we got House of Pain versus Inside. What the fuck is that Inside song? That, you want to talk about a stupid ass fucking song. Oh my God, it's just ridiculous. House of Pain, I fucking love. Probably the heaviest song on here. But I do have a complaint about House of Pain. I, the, the vocals are a little too low in the mix. They should have raised Dave's vocals because I love Dave's vocals. That's right. Back then in the 80s, I loved his vocals. I'll take, and even now, I'll take Dave on his worst day over Sammy on his best. So another one for 1984. So how many, uh, how many tracks are on this? Like five? Uh, Nine tracks, so I don't even have to read it. Nine versus uh, it won. A complete shutout, but I'm not shocked. I'm not surprised, but um, I do admit I like Love Comes Walking In. Weird. I know it's weird. I know it's peculiar and strange, but I'm not one of these people that's going to bullshit. You know, I'm not going to lie just because, you know, I hate Van Hagar that much. I also like the song Human Beings. From Van Hagar. See, I like two Van Hagar songs. But anyway, this one wins against this garbage right here. Thank you for watching, everybody. And uh, if you want to donate, uh, i got a PayPal below. And uh, it's got to be 10 bucks or up. And if it's some garbage I don't like, I'm going to send you the money back. Unless you want to give something like 50 bucks, And I'll fucking, I'll track by track anything if you do that. But anyway, thank you for watching. And subscribe to my channel if you like what you see and press the little uh, bell for notifications and uh, smack on my gab. Hey, check out my podcast, The Vieira Vault, on Spreaker, YouTube, and iTunes. Subscribe. The links are below.